Welcome. I welcome you all to this lecture in the course Samasa in Paninian Grammar 2. As is our practice, we begin our lecture with the recitation of the Mangala Charana. Vishvesham Satchidanandam Vandeham Yokhilan Jagat Charikarti Bharibharti Sanjari Harti Lilaya Vishvesham Satchidanandam Vandeham Yokhilan Jagat Charikarti Bharibharti Sanjari Harti Lilaya In this course, we are studying the three important types of samasas in Sanskrit, namely the Avyabhava Samasa, Bahuvrihi Samasa and Dvandva Samasa. Right now we are focused on the Avyayi Bhava Samasa. The features of the Avyayi Bhava Samasa can be explained very briefly in the form of an equation presented on this particular slide. Here we have X and Y, two different entities, separate entities in terms of the word form as well as the meaning as well as the accent and that's why both x and y they are put separately in different brackets square brackets now there is a plus sign which indicates that they are semantically related the speaker of sanskrit decides to merge both these x and y together and generate an output in the form of x y which is one output so X and Y, there are two inputs and the output is one, namely XY. So XY is one unit as far as the word form is concerned, as well as the meaning is concerned, as well as the accent is concerned also. So there are these three features, Aikarthya, Ekarthata, Aikapadya, Ekapadata and Aikasvarya, Ekasvarata, which are seen in the Samasa, in general. Now, as far as the Avyabhava Samasa is concerned, we note that amongst X and Y, it is X which acts as the head in the newly generated Avyabhava Samasa from X and Y. And that's why X is put in the bold characters in the square bracket. So X acts as the head of the Avyabhava Samasa. This is when we speak of the interrelation of the constituents with the output generated which is one whole. So X acts as the head. X in the Avyabhava Samasa is invariably an Avyaya without a with a few exceptions and Y is invariably not an Avyaya again there are a few exceptions and the output generated XY which is an Avyaibhava Samasa this behaves like an Avyaya so Anavyayam Avyayam Bhavati Avyaibhavaha this is how the term Avyaibhava can be also explained now in the Ashtadhyayi, the Avyaibhava Samasa is treated at different places. First, we have the Samasa Vidhayaka Sutras. Generally, these Samasa Vidhayaka Sutras are stated in the Ashtadhyayi in 2.1 and 2.2. As far as the Avyaibhava Samasa is concerned, they are stated from 2.15 up to 2.121. 2.15 is Avyaibhavaha and 2.121 is Anya Padarthecha Saudnyayam. Incidentally, 2.122 is Tatpurushaha, and from this sutra onwards, the Samasa Vidhayaka sutras related to the Tatpurusha Samasa are stated, 
and we have dealt with these sutras and have studied them in detail in the first course on Samasa in this particular series. Samasa Vidhayaka Sutras are those sutras which lay down principles, conditions in which a compound can take place. Now, as far as the Avyayi Bhava Samasa is concerned, we have this small section from 215 up to 2.121 dealing with the Samasa Vidhana of the Avyayi Bhava. Next, we have Samasanta Pratyaya Vidhayaka Sutras stated in general in 5.4, beginning with 5.4.68 Samasantaha. As far as the Avyayi Bhava Samasa is concerned, there is yet another small section that begins with 5.4.107 up to 5.4.112. This is a section where the suffix that appears at the end of the Avyayi Bhava Samasa is stated, is prescribed. In fact, we have already completed studying the Samasa Vidhayaka Sutras related to the Avyayi Bhava Samasa and Right now, we are focusing on the Samasanta Pratyaya Vidhayaka Sutras and we are almost finished. We, we are almost coming to the close of this particular section and in this particular lecture, we shall study the remaining two sutras that need to be studied from this particular section. Also, Swara Vidhayaka Sutras are stated in 6.2 for example, 6.2.121. This is how Avyayi Bhava Samasa is treated in the Ashtadhyayi. Let us focus on the Samasanta Pratyaya, which is stated from 54107 onwards. We have studied the sutras from 54107 onwards up to 1110. In this particular lecture, we shall study the remaining two sutras, namely 5.4.111 as well as 5.4.112. That will bring us to the close of the Samasanta Pratyaya Vidhayaka Sutra section. And then we shall also close our study of the Avyayi Bhava Samasa and move forward to the study of the Bahuvrihi Samasa. So let us concentrate on 5.4.111, which is Jhayaha. Jhayaha is Panchami Ekavachana 5 slash 1 of Jhay, which means immediately after the sounds included in the Pratyahara Jhay. Words continued are touch from 5.4.91, touch is 1 slash 1, Samasantaha, which is 1 slash 3, and this is continued from 5468. Pratyayaha is continued from 3.1.1. Avyayi Bhave is continued from 5.4.107. Avyayi Bhave Sharat Prabhritibhya. And also Anyatarasyam, that is also continued. Avyayi Bhave is Saptami Ekavachana of Avyayi Bhava which means in the Avyayi Bhava Samasa. Anyatarasyam means optionally. All of these put together, the meaning of the Sutra is as follows. In the Avyayi Bhava Samasa, immediately after the words ending in the Pratyahara Jai, the Samasanta suffix touch is added optionally. I repeat, in the Avyayi Bhava Samasa, immediately after the words ending in the Pratyahara Jai, the Samasanta suffix touch is added optionally. I repeat, in the Avyayi Bhava Samasa, Avyayi Bhave, immediately after the words ending in the Pratyahara Jai, Jayaha, the Samasanta Samasantaha suffix Pratyayaha touch touch is added optionally, anyatarasyam. The important question here is, what is jai? Now, 
we have explained the answer to this question in the first course in this series, namely Introduction to Paninian Grammar. This is the course which will enable one to understand in detail what Jai is. However, we will answer this question over here very briefly. Jai is a Pratyahara and a Pratyahara is formed using the 14 Pratyahara Sutras stated by Panini at the beginning of his grammar. These are the 14 Pratyahara Sutras and I'll read those Sutras for you. Ayun, Ruluk, Eong, Ayauch, Hayavarat, Lan, Yamanganam, Jabhai, Ghadhadash, Jabagadadash, Kapha Chathachatato, Kapai, Shashasar, and Hal. Now, in these 14 sutras, there are two letters which are marked in green. They are J and Y. Now, the Pratyahara is a technique used by Panini stated in the Sutra Adirantena Saheta, which says that you take any of the final consonants stated in all these 14 sutras. For example, here we take Y and then take any letter that precedes this Y and place it besides this Y. So we have Y and then we to the left of it we place J and we get the term Jai ready with us. What this Jai stands for is all the sounds that come in between J and Y and J as well. <coughs> so Jai is a Pratyahara and it includes the sounds namely Jabha, Gharadha, Jabagadha, Khapa Chathatha Chathatha, Kapa. The other principles say that the final sounds in between Y, Sh, Sh, V, these are not to be counted as part of the Pratyahara. Also the vowels which are stated immediately after all these consonants J, B, Gh, etc. These vowels are there for the sake of distinct comprehension of the sounds. So one should not confuse by including these vowels in the Pratyahara Jai. This is what is Jai. This is how one forms the Pratyahara Jai on the basis of the 14 Pratyahara Sutras that are recited at the beginning of the Ashtadhyayi. To put it in a different perspective, if we compare the Pratyahara Sutras with the traditional sound inventory, which consists of vowels, first a u, rulu, a, i, o, au, and then consonants. Consonants are arranged in five rows and five columns, and we have the peculiar arrangement, which is also prevalent in the education system of today. And these five consonants into five, 25 consonants, they form the backbone of the inventory. And then we have yavarala and shashasah as the other set of consonants in Sanskrit. Now, importantly, we have marked the four columns in all the five rows in green color, indicating that all of them, they are part of the Pratyahara Jai. If we compare the Pratyahara Sutras stated on the previous slide with this particular sound inventory, we note that column 1 to 4 in each of the five rows has got sounds which are part of the Pratyahara Jai mentioned earlier using the methodology also elaborated a brief while ago. So these are all the sounds that are part of the Pratyahara Jai. And now we are saying that any Avyay Bhava Samasa, which ends in any of these consonants, any of these consonants is added 
the samasanta pratyaya touch optionally of course as is clear to us in sanskrit this column 2 as well as column 4 they never will occur at the end of any pratipadika or any pratyaya any pada and so obviously the option remains between column 1 and column 3 and so amongst them also there are very few pratipadikas which um do take this particular behavior and so we have a few examples let us now study those examples so here we have near the fire wood this is the meaning intended and so we have samidha samipam as the laukika vigraha and now we have the sutra avyayam विभक्ति समीप समृद्धि वृद्धि अर्थाभाव अत्यय असंप्रति शब्द प्रादुर्भाव पश्चात यथानुपूर्व्य योगपद्य सदृश्य संपत्ति साकल्यांत वचनेशु दिस सूत्र कमिंग इन टू पिक्चर एंड प्रिस्क्राइबिंग द अव्यय भाव समास इन द सेंस ऑफ समीप नाउ इन दिस बिग सूत्र अव्यय विभक्ति एट्सेट्रा द वर्ड अव्यय इज मेन्शन इन द प्रथमा विभक्ति and therefore the avyaya becomes upasarjana by the sutra prathama nirdishtam samasa upasarjanam and then by the sutra upasarjanam purvam this upasarjana occupies the initial position of the samasa and that's why samidha samipam which is a laukika vigraha will now get transformed into an alaukika vigraha which is upa plus su plus samidh plus nas and here because of the sutra avyayam vibhakti etc avyay bhav saudhnya takes place so samasa saudhnya takes place immediately after which we add the samasanta suffix touch so we have upa plus su plus samidh plus nas plus touch now the pratipadika saudhnya also takes place because of krit tadhita samasascha and then we apply supodhatu pratipadika yoho a sutra which deletes both the sups and so we have upa plus 0 plus samidha plus 0 and then the samasanta pratyaya touch is there and in touch to and cha both are anubandhas so the pratyaya that actually remains in the form is a and so we have upa plus 0 plus samidha plus 0 plus a when we join these together we get the form upa samidha as the avyayi bhava samasa output samidha samipam is the laukika vigraha and upa samidha is the avyayi bhava samasa now when we decide to use it in the sentence we add the prathama ekavachana suffix su after it so we have upasamidha plus su and now upasamidha which is an avyay bhava samasa would be also termed as avyaya because of the sutra avyayi bhavascha and then we apply the sutra avyaya dapsapaha because of which su would get deleted but an exception sutra which is navyayi bhavad atompa panchamya that comes into play and says that if an avyayi bhava samasa ends in short a su added to it is not deleted rather it gets substituted by am so we have upasamidha plus am and so we join them using the sandhi rules and we get the form upasamidham this means near the fire wood optionally when we have the same meaning to be conveyed and same laukika vigraha samidha samipam and same alaukika vigraha upa plus su plus samidh plus nas the only difference is we don't add the suffix touch over here so we have upa plus 0 plus samidh plus 0 as the next output after having applied supodhatu pratipadika yoho 2471 and so at the end of the prakriya we get upa samidh as the pratipadika ending in dh upasamidh samidha samipam is the laukika vigraha and upasamidh is the output generated by the process of compounding 
Now when we add the suffix su after upasamedh, we get upasamedh plus su. Upasamedh is avyayi bhava samasa, therefore it is an avyaya because of the sutra avyayi bhavascha. And so now this su suffix appears immediately after a consonant dha. And then we apply the sutra avyayadap supaha. So we have upasamedh plus zero. Then we have upasamedh. And then since dha appears at the end of this pada, it is substituted by the by the sutra Janam Jashonte 8.239 and then this the at the end is optionally substituted by the by the sutra Vavasane which appears in 8.4 and so we have Upasamid and Upasamit as two optional forms. So we have the sentence Upasamidham or upasamid, or upasamit, yaga sadhanam vartate. Near the firewood is the means of the sacrifice. This is the meaning to be conveyed, and we can have, we can have both the forms upasamidham, where we add the samasanta suffix a, and upasamit, where, where we don't add the samasanta suffix a, that is touch. And we have also have two forms upasamid and upasamit, depending on the application of the sutra Vavasane. This is the example of Jhayaha. Similarly, other words ending in other consonants will also undergo similar operations. Now let us study the last sutra in this section of the sutra prescribing the Samasanta Pratyaya. The sutra is 5.4.112 Girescha Senakasya. Girescha Senakasya. So, there are three padas in the sutra Girehe, which is 5 slash 1 of Giri, which is a mountain. Cha means and, and Senakasya in the view of Senaka. Senaka is the name of a pre Paninian. Grammarian. So the words continued are touch from 5491, samasantaha from 5468, pratyaha from 311, avyayi bhave from 54107, which means in the avyayi bhava samasa, and also anyatarasyam. So overall, the meaning of the sutra is the following. In the Avyayi Bhava Samasa, immediately after the word Giri, the Samasanta suffix touch is added optionally in the view of the grammarian Senaka. I repeat, in the Avyayi Bhava Samasa, immediately after the word Giri, the Samasanta suffix touch is added optionally in the view of the grammarian Senaka. I repeat, in the Avyayi Bhava Samasa, Avyayi Bhave, immediately after the word Giri, Girehe, the Samasanta suffix touch, touch Samasantaha Pratyayaha is added optionally, Anyatrasyam, in the view of the grammarian Senaka, Senakasya. Let us now look at the example of this particular sutra. When the meaning to be conveyed is near the mountain, the laukika vigraha is girehe samipam. Girehe samipam. Now we have the samasa prescribed by the sutra avyayam vibhakti samipa samruddhi vridhyartha bhava tyaya samprati shabda pradar bhava paschad yathana purvya yogapadya sadrishya sampatti sakalyanta vachaneshu. In the sense of samipam. And so, and because the word avyaya is mentioned in Prathama Vibhakti, in the Sutra Avyayam Vibhakti, etc., the avyaya, meaning samipa, becomes upasarjana on account of the Sutra Prathama Nirdishtam Samasa Upasarjanam. 
and by the sutra upasarjanam purvam it will occupy the initial position of the samasa so we have the alaukika vigraha in the form of upa plus su plus giri plus nasa now here the samasa saudhnya takes place so we add the samasa anta pratyaya immediately so we have upa plus su plus giri plus nas plus touch now the pratipadika saudhnya takes place and therefore supadhatu pratipadika yo is applied and both the subs are deleted and so we have upa plus 0 plus giri plus 0 plus a and then when we join them together we get the form upa gira so the final e in giri is also deleted because of the sutra yasya yes, teacher 64148 and so upagira is now the output of the avyayi bhava samasa process and so we add the pratyaya su after it in order to use it in the sum, in the sentence so we have upagira plus su upagira is an avyayi bhava samasa so it is an avyaya so su pratyaya that is added after an avyaya would get deleted because of the sutra avyaya dap supaha but because of the exception sutra navyai bhavat atom pavanchamya which says that if an avyai bhava samasa ends in short a the sup pratyaya is not deleted rather it is substituted by am and so we get su substituted by am so we have upagira plus am and when we join it together with the help of the sandhi rules we get the form upagiram optionally when the same meaning is to be conveyed with the same laukika vigraha girehe samipam and same alaukika vigraha upa plus su plus gini plus gnas we have the samasa saudhnya but here we don't add the samasa anta pratyaya touch so after the samasa saudhnya takes place the pratipadika saudhnya takes place and so supodhatu pratipadika yo applies and so we have upa plus 0 plus giri plus 0 and then we join these together and we get the form upa giri as the finally derived output of the avyayi bhava samasa process then we add the pratyaya su after it to use it in the sentence so we have upa giri plus su and here we apply the sutra avyaya dap supaha and we delete su pratyaya so we get the form upagiri to be used in the sentence so we can say that upagiram upagi or upagiri nadi vartate there is a river near the mountain and we can have both the forms upagiram as well as upagiri where we have the optional application of the samasanta pratyaya touch in upagiram and not addition no addition of the samasanta pratyaya touch in upagiri to summarize there is a small section of rules in the paninian grammar adding the end of the compound suffixes in the avyayi bhava samasa from 54107 up to 112 many of these sutras namely 4 out of 6 add the samasanta pratyaya touch optionally generating two optional forms as we saw upagiram and upagiri upasamidham and upasamit recording the varied forms of the avyayi bhava samasa which is an important feature of sanskrit language we also note that there are certain avyayi bhava samasas together with the end of the compound suffixes the samasanta pratyayas like pratyaksha and paroksha which play different functions than just the avyayi bhava samasa in sanskrit so pratyaksha and paroksha is originally derived as an avyayi bhava samasa but they do play different functions and can become qualifications and do not remain the indeclinables so we find usages like pratyaksha kriya pratyaksham pramanam pratyaksham gnanam and so on and so forth paroksha kriya etc 
Now, we can say that this is their extended existence in Sanskrit. This is true of any language, more so Sanskrit as a language is concerned. Here we come to the close of the Samasanta Pratyaya of the Avyayi Bhava Samasa. Here we also come to a close of the treatment of the Avyayi Bhava Samasa in Paninian grammar in this particular course. So hereafter we start studying the next type of Samasa which is Bahuvrihi Samasa. These are the texts referred to. Thank you very much.